She says she's been working on these changes for years and believes that every police officer in the nation should have a duty to intervene. But when she did it, it cost her her job. Former Buffalo police officer Carrie O'Holloman Horn says back in 2006, Neil Mack was already handcuffed when Officer Greg Kwiatkowski started punching Mack in the face and choking him. And I yelled to him, Greg, you're choking him. And when he didn't stop, I grabbed his arm from around his neck. So after that, he punched me in the face. In 2008, Holloman Horn was terminated for intervening, losing her pension just months before she was to retire. I did stop a bad officer and I was fired for it. So officers don't want to lose their livelihood. Um, they don't want to be ostracized by uh, pretty much bad officers. In 2018, Kwiatkowski was sentenced to four months in federal prison for a 2009 incident involving excessive force with four black teenagers. And just last month, Holloman Horn had her pension reinstated. She also successfully campaigned to pass Karyos Law in Buffalo, which requires police officers to intervene if they witness excessive force and protection for the officer who stops it. Last year, San Diegans voted to create a commission on police practices, and the chair says San Diego police have implemented a rule requiring officers to intervene and report excessive force. He's really trying to make sure that some of the things that we're seeing in other areas of the country don't happen here. So we're trying to be proactive and make policy recommendations. Hilbert says the commission will hire independent investigators to look deeper into every case. Once they finish that, they will then present that to the commission and the commission will vote on whether or not we agree or disagree. Since last year, Hilpert says that complaints against San Diego police have jumped. In a typical year, they receive about 70 reports. This year, they've already received 112 serious complaints against San Diego police.